What's up everyone, Silva here. What an amazing kickback episode we've been having here, only on Wave. I have the members of Stay Happy with me right now who just did a killer set. If you guys missed it, you gotta stay for the replay because it was amazing. Stay Happy consists of Akira, Kira, Haiki, Swizzy Mac. You guys, thank you so much for being guests Thank you for having us. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hey, thank you. Thank you, guys. Hi. So from looking at all of your guys' socials, you've all been so busy. And most of the time, people didn't really know that the three of you com comprise Stay Happy. Who is there, like, one founder? Or was it kind of like a group collaboration? Well, yeah, it's, I kind of came up with the idea while I was still in Philly. And originally, it was me and Mr. Joji Man. And then Haiki, Akira, and Chopper Dunks got at it. And also, G-Buck is now a part of Stay Happy, too. And it was just like an artist collective at first, so like we could all collectively work on projects together. But you know, we're all friends, so Stay Happy just came. Yeah. <laughs> and really quick, is, you just go by Akira, not Akira, Akira, or both? Mid mic, man. I go by Akira, Akira. Not, okay, good. Not just I'm Akira. like, did I add an extra Akira and I wasn't supposed to? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. Akira, Akira is my name. Awesome. So the three of you all work at Mad Decent, correct? No. We, no. Not all three of us work at Mad Decent. I work at Mad Decent. <laughs> <laughs> they do not work at Mad Decent. Uh, Swizzy Mac is an artist. Uh, High Key is just an artist affiliate. And myself, I am an artist affiliate as well, slash A&R at the label. Amazing. And how did you guys get linked up with Certified? Um, we got linked up. They hit us up. Um, I, don't, I don't know. How Who long have you known this? the guys from Certified? Uh, it was Rel and Arnitre, like, Rel and I, and I guess every, everybody's probably been talking to Rel for like ages. He's like pretty OG when it comes to club music. So we all knew of Rel and Rel knew of us. And at least in my case, he uh, reached out to me to play at The Lash a few times. And just from that, um, and like different pop-ups Arnitre's had is how I've just met the whole crew and everybody. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. That, that's a pretty concise description of how you guys got connected. I have another question for you guys. What's the best part about playing club music? The vibe, for real. I think it's just like how everybody likes the music. No matter if people have never heard club music before, when they get it, they're like, I it like it. It makes you feel good. Yeah, it makes you dance, you know? Yeah, twerk music. Twerk music? It, it's like one of the few genres that you can play in like an electronic type environment that can actually get people to dance like if you play dubstep if you play all like all that music you can get head bobbing you can get all this but you're not gonna get you're not gonna get people like running man like shaking their hips like doing like actual jersey dances like tanging like to philly club it's like people can actually dance dance to it and that's what's tight about it. It's like, it's a rhythm-based genre more than like, oh, Rel's playing my song right now. <laughs> you heard it first. <laughs> but yeah. No, Gio had a very educated response. That's, that's it. You concur with that. Awesome. Yes. So we have some viewer questions that we want to get answered from you guys. What would be your guys' Grammy pick for album of the year? Grammy pick of We're album of the year. Swizzy Mac is not allowed question. to answer this. <laughs> you like Takashi 69. <laughs> we got to go to the No comment on that one, yo. But uh, to be honest, I think Lil Uzi album was really like a great album. It was really well put together. Swizzy's album was good too. But I think Lil Uzi has it just because, you know, his fan base and the, how many people just genuinely care about his music, you know? So I think Uzi has it. You got nice. It. I agree with Swizzy. <laughs> okay, we have one more question. For, oh, did you answer? No. You didn't answer no. yet. Akira's going to answer really I'm, quick. I'm okay. No, we don't need an answer from Akira. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need an answer from myself. I'm good. Thank you. No, you okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is probably my most important question. Who would play you guys in a movie? If we had a movie story of your guys' life, stay happy, who would play you guys? Who was the guy that played uh, Michael Orr in Blindside? The, the one? Michael Orr? No? Maybe Morris Chestnut. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. Oh, wait. Morris Chestnut was in there. That's why. Little 
John. John will play me. <laughs> Lil John would play Swizzy Matt, guys. Honestly, um, I'm kind of biased towards this just because um, the person um, is not only like a good acquaintance of mine, but also growing up, I would always get called, like people say, oh, you look exactly like him. It'd be Jaden Smith. Like everybody growing up would always say, oh, you look like Will Smith's kid. And like, we have very similar personalities. Like I've hung out with him a few times. And, like we play soccer and different things like that. Very similar people and interests. So I could see him playing with. Yeah, uh, Heike got Jaden, and I always get Will Smith, so that's kind of weird. People also think we're related, too, so that, I guess that makes sense. Me and Akira are not related. We are not. We're both Blasian <laughs> brothers from another mother. Well, you guys heard it first. Awesome. That was a very concise interview from Stay Happy. You guys, thank you so much for tuning into the kickback. I'm Silva. We got Rel on the decks now. Keep it locked right here. We only got a few minutes left, but we're going to keep it rocking right here on the kickback. Yeah.